Welcome back to another trip report from here in Geneva. Today, I'm transferring to the Seagates for my 11.45 a.m. flight to New York JFK. This area of the airport has seating spread out all throughout the terminal. There are plenty of USB ports and power outlets. Here at gate C-52 is my aircraft for today's flight. This Airbus A330-300 registered Hotel Bravo Juliet Hotel Juliet was delivered new to Swiss in January of 2011. This aircraft was 11 and a half years old at the time when I flew on it. Boarding commenced on time at 11.20 as I made my way to seat 33K. Let's take a look at my seat for this 8 hour long flight. Taking a look at the seat, you will find a small IFE screen, USB port, decently sized tray table, cup holder, and a large seat back pocket. These seats are large and cushiony. The legroom is very good for a flight of this duration. The IFE boxes underneath every seat is something that somewhat hinders the legroom and storage space. These seats also recline. While there are USB ports, there aren't any power outlets underneath the seats here in economy. Blankets and pillows are provided as well. The blankets are of high quality, which adds to the comfort of the seat. This aircraft is also equipped with mood lighting. Taking a look at the IFE system, there are three buttons controlling brightness, power, and volume. Swiss has a large selection of movies, TV shows, and games for you to choose from. There are ads that play before every movie or TV show that you watch. Unlike airlines such as Polish Airlines, where you can bring your own earbuds or headphones, on Swiss you have to use the ones they give you, as they are double jacked. Speaking of which, these earbuds are of decent quality, but do not go nearly as loud as they should. Especially on a loud aircraft like the A330. While the IFE system uses touch, it is preferably controlled by a remote hidden inside the armrest. Despite the slow and cumbersome IV system, the selection of movies and TV shows makes it a very good one. Here is our 15 minute late pushback from gate C52. Our taxi started 20 minutes late. Here is our 25 minute late takeoff from runway 04 in Geneva. With the breathtaking views of the Swiss Alps fading into the distance, the lunch service commenced. Before the main course, a small snack consisting of crackers was served.
Around a half hour after that came lunch. Here is my meal for today's flight. This meal is composed of chicken with potatoes and asparagus, a piece of cheese, quinoa, a bread roll with butter, and a pastry for dessert. As for drinks, I went for tomato juice and a cup of water. Served with this meal are Swiss branded metal utensils, which helps cut down on waste. Shortly after this, a small hot drink service commenced. Around two hours into the flight, the cabin crew came around handing out bottles of water. Despite the age of this aircraft, there is Wi-Fi on board. You can stream the entertainment through your phone or the IFE system. Normal Wi-Fi, however, is only available for purchase. Swiss is one of the few airlines that still features an in-flight magazine. Swiss flies to a menagerie of destinations from their hubs in Geneva and Zurich in Switzerland. Just as North America came into view, another snack service commenced. It consisted of a custard pie and ice cream along with a drink. I went for tomato juice. Around a half hour before landing, a small piece of chocolate was served. Here's our descent and landing into runway 22 left at New York's John F. Kennedy International Airport. Overall, I'd rate this flight 9 out of 10. While the amenities received were standard, the food service was great, with the cabin crew keeping you full throughout the flight. Despite the slow IFE system, the selection of movies, TV shows, and games was terrific. Yes, the lack of power outlets did suck, but the USB ports do make up for this. My only complaint was the lack of storage underneath the seat due to the IFE box. Still, if you're going to fly from Switzerland to the United States, make sure to do it on Swiss. Anyways, that's all from me. Until next time, see ya.